Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It is Thursday, the 27th day of April, National Gummy Bear Day. Do you remember when gummy bears like first came out? It's like new technology. I've never been a fan. You've never been a fan? I've always liked them. Uh -uh. Do Do you like gummy worms? No. No? Nothing gummy related? No. Mm, The texture is just... I don't know. I've always kind of liked them. Uh, National Devil Dog Day today. National Teach Children to Save Day. That's a good thing, by the way. That is a very good thing. We didn't do a very good job. No, we did a terrible job. (laughs) National Prime Rib Day. Oh, you got my attention. National Tell a Story Day. National Babe Ruth Day. National Take Our Daughters and Sons to Work Day. And National Poem in Your Pocket Day. So put a poem in your pocket and just pull it out and read it every once in a while, apparently. (laughs) Something like that. And it's a Thursday means we've got a Dear John letter. We'll get to that here in a little bit as well. It's about a guy whose girlfriend has a tattoo with another man's name on it, and it's bugging him a lot. You can chime in with your advice at Facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show. What a year. With prices on everything going up, it's more important than ever to have a better credit card. Some people use a credit card that's not a very good one. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. A survey reveals one in 10 of us carry a good luck charm. I didn't know this about Heidi until just recently. You have a four-leaf clover. I do. How did I find that out? We were talking about it. And then you mentioned something about it. I'm like, wait, you're what? (laughs) My four leaf clover. You have a four leaf clover? (laughs) I do. We had been married like 22 (laughs) years at the time, and I had no idea. Um, Another survey said that only 40% of adults think they've ever been truly in love. That's sad. Only 40%. Really sad. I've been truly in love like a dozen times. (laughs) Just kidding. I'm just kidding. I am truly, madly, deeply in love with Heidi, this lady that's in the room with me here. I'm just being silly. And one final study uh, said that drinking half a pint of beer could improve your brain power by 20%. Really? Or do you just think you're smarter? I'm going to have to say. uh, Yeah, I don't know if I agree with that one. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at GenesisGoldIRA.com. That's GenesisGoldIRA.com. Did you know? Brought to you by GenesisGoldIRA.com. Did you know NBC renewed six shows for next season? I'm going to go through the list here. This could have probably been big screen, little screen, but uh, here it is. Chicago Fire, Chicago PD, and Chicago Med, and three Law & Order series as well. Apparently, the renewals came with an asterisk as casts were told that they will appear in fewer episodes next year. Comes on the heels of CBS recently renewing Blue Bloods for 14th season after the cast agreed to a 25% pay cut. Now we're finding out Yikes. the cast of other CBS series, Bob Hart's Ab- Abishola, I don't know what that is, uh, agreed to a double-digit salary reduction for their Yikes. fifth season as well. So they're going, hey, we're going to keep the show, but in order to but afford you, to right, keep the show, you, gotta make less. you get to make a little less You know less why money. that is? There's fewer and fewer people paying for those channels. I know. I know. That's what's going on. Well, these are all on like NBC and CBS right, and you know, big networks. So We don't have those. I, well, yeah. You get them over the air, so we could with an antenna. We just... Right. We don't know everything, but now we know this. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. Yellowstone is ending after months of turmoil behind the scenes. New York Post says Paramount's drama off screen has ultimately led to the show ending at the end of season five. Now, here's the thing. I have a bunch of spoiler alerts. I'm not going to read all of this, but there's three different stories talking about what's going on there, and some of it has to do with things that are going to be on the show. And since I know there are people, a lot of people who watch Yellowstone, oh, yeah. I'm not going to read any of that. But if you do want to read it, I have all of the stuff. I have the scoop in the show notes for today. 
at johnandheidyshow.com. And tonight is the night. The Late Late Show with James Corden has set their final show for this evening. Harry Styles will be on. Will Ferrell will join as well. The last episode again tonight, wrapping up CBS Late Night Series, eight-year run. Uh, ben Affleck, Brian Cranston, Tom Cruise, Josh Gad. Are these people all going to be on the show tonight? Among the show's guests joining him in the final two weeks. Okay, I okay. see. Okay, I was going to say, say, that's one heck gonna, of a lineup. How are they going to squeeze them all in? All right, thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. How much do you pay for your cell phone every month? If it's more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring in your current phone. iPhones and Samsung phones both work well with Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just... $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. A website just ranked the top 20 revenge songs of all time. I don't have oh, the list. I need to find you it. You don't though. have the list. No. Why are we talking because about it? Because it was sent to me. Just like this. <laughs> Tomorrow is Arbor Day. That's all the, there is to that story, too. Okay. Maybe, maybe we'll talk more about that tomorrow. But yeah, I got to find the list of the top 20 revenge yeah, songs. Yeah, I'd kind of like to hear that. I kind of would, too. So maybe that'll be the list one of these days. And next story. This has been getting a fair bit of attention since it was announced, but I wanted to chime in about it. McDonald's is making improvements, I'm going to do air quotes, improvements to their big five burgers. The Big Mac, the McDouble Burger, the cheeseburger, the double cheeseburger, and the hamburger. Let's pause right there and say... What are they going to do to the Big Mac? I'm just going to ask, do you think these need improvement? I don't think so, no. Yeah, because they, they're like the best-selling burgers in the world. So why would anybody okay, so what, in this what company come along and say, we need to fix this? What improvements are they doing? Well, the fast food giant says the Mick upgrades include softer, pillowier, golden brown buns, okay. gooier cheese... Yeah. And a juicier, caramelized taste as onions will be placed on patties while they're still on the grill. So they're okay. not going to, they'll be fried onions instead. In addition, the Big Mac will feature more of its signature sauce. They're going to dump a little more of that on there. Updated recipe is currently being offered on the U.S. West Coast in Lake uh, Los Angeles and San Francisco, Las Vegas, and Seattle, among other cities. By early next year, the upgrades will be available. Nationwide, the changes were first tested in Canada, Australia, Belgium, where McDonald's said they were, quote, received with rave reviews, end quote. Huh. So here's the thing. Again, walking into that story, I was like, I don't think they need to change anything. But now I kind of want to try it the other way because maybe, I don't know, maybe it'll be better. Heidi's got a look on her face where I do. she seems I, very I'm, not I interested. I kind of rely on that Big Mac sometimes, so I hope they <laughs> yeah. don't mess it up too bad. Yeah. I, I wonder if you'll be able to order it the classic way. Can I get mine the classic way? Maybe they'll do that. Who knows? Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. InsuranceChicken.com wants to know, how much are you paying for your insurance? I know it seems like a hassle to switch to a different company, but if you can save a few bucks, 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 it's worth crossing the road to InsuranceChicken.com. We have several of the top insurance companies trying to earn your business. They do that by offering great insurance that is cheap, cheap, cheap. Okay, enough of the silly chicken puns. It's time to get serious about saving you money on your insurance at InsuranceChicken.com. That's InsuranceChicken.com. And it's time right now for Dear John Letters. I'm excited to see what Heidi's answer is on this because we've got kind of a similar situation going on. <laughs> and when I say similar, it's completely different. All right, here we go. Dear John, I'm thinking about breaking up with my girlfriend, but my best friend says I'm being petty. She insulted me and I can't get past it. She has, yeah, take a listen. She has a few tattoos, including the first name of her old boyfriend. It was her first boyfriend, and they were close for a while. But we've been dating for over a year and a half, and every time we're intimate, I see Jason in big, bold letters. It's inside of a heart. So I brought it up casually, and she got angry. Then she shut down the conversation, saying, what's the big deal? I really don't think about it, or him. You have nothing to worry about. I told her it's hard for me to not think about it, seeing it. Right where it is, every time we're passionate. I offered to pay for laser removal or, hey, let's get a new tattoo and cover it up. But she blew me off. She said I was young and in love and that's all there is to it. Well, that's the problem. She was in love. But is she in love now? 
I'm sick of it. What can I do to have her yeah. have this removed? Am I overreacting if I leave her because of it? This, by the way, is the only reason I've not asked her to marry me. It's driving me crazy. What do I do? Signed, confused boyfriend. Mm. All right, Heidi, you have the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a problem. Well, let me pause. And Heidi has a man's name tattooed on her arm. and she I do got- not have a man's hey, name. Hey, just listen. On my arm, I have a silhouette of his entire body. <laughs> hey, I got a picture of on him. my arm. <laughs> she got it after we were married, by the way. <laughs> He's a stand-up comic. I am a stand-up comic. She doesn't have me tattooed I have on her you arm. T- I have your name. Oh yeah, that's true. Yes, I, guess. I do. And He's, in a more intimate spot. Yeah, than... close to your heart. He's stuck on your arm. So right. Okay, I digress. This is completely <laughs> different. Then, <laughs> still weird. And so, Brian is unattainable. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, her tattoo is of a comedian by the name of Brian Regan, by the way, if you want to look that up. so Hey, so what do you think? get back to this, Heidi. What do you think? Should she have Yes, it? that's a problem. I, I mean, think they, it is they too. were in a relationship, and, and if he's offering to, hey, I'll even, you know, whatever tattoo you want, I'll, we'll, yeah. we can cover it. And this, by the way, is one of the reasons a lot of people will warn you against getting somebody's name tattooed on your body right because sometimes i don't know if you guys know this sometimes relationships don't work out right i mean it's very rare that people ever break (laughs) up very rare yeah but every once in a blue moon that does happen and then what happens if you've got their name stuck on you for the rest of your life uh, and again, you could do laser removal, but that's spendy and, ex- and, uh, and painful, painful from what I've been told. Yeah. Or you could get it covered with a different tattoo and, you know, that's a, a good way. But in this particular situation, the boyfriend who sees the tattoo yeah. is bothered by it and is going, hey, I, I, I kind of like this gone. The girlfriend who has the tattoo, who used to be, you know, dating this Jason guy, she doesn't want to get rid of it. Yeah, that's a problem, I think. And part of me thinks that maybe what you guys need to do is talk to somebody about what's really going on here. Because doesn't it seem like maybe there's more than just the tattoo? Yeah, something's not right. And I I don't know if he has told her, this is the only reason I've not asked her to marry me. Maybe that's one of the things you say is, you know, I'd love to marry you, but I don't want to marry you. You got another man's name tattooed. I don't think you've let go of him yet. Yeah. And if you can't let go of Jason, then there's just not anything for me to hold on to because you're still holding on to Jason. Right. And again, it could be completely different than that. Maybe she's going, oh, it's too painful and it, it hurt. But it says but she she's has... she's got other tattoos. Yeah, it says she has a few tattoos, but one of I them... I think a cover-up would be the I right think so too. solution. And Find it, something that is meaningful to the both of you that she could put there instead. Exactly. And it could be, it doesn't have to be something about you because, you know, unless you guys are going to be there together forever. No, no, I'm not saying like his but, name or anything like that because clearly there are some jealousy issues yeah. there that he's got to work on for himself. But if she does something or just fills in the heart, if his name is in the heart, just fill the whole heart in so now right. you don't see the name right. at all. That'd be a very easy solution. And again, I get it where you're saying, hey, I want to do this. A and- friend of our family, him and his wife got divorced and he had a tattoo of her and he had it turned into a bat. <laughs> <laughs> Did he really? Yeah. You have to tell me who that was. I didn't even know that. Oh, no, I want to know. So, no, I, I think that the answer could be a very simple answer, but maybe the reason she said no is how you asked her. So, again, if you... Yeah, if you were being... If you throwing around accusations. Yeah, and, and if you did it the wrong way and she's going, what do you think? I'm not doing anything. I'm not covering right. it up now because I have no reason to cover it up. Have a rational conversation. If you'd like to chime in, you can do that at facebook.com slash John and Heidi show. What a year. With prices on everything going up, it's more important than ever to have a better credit card. Some people use a credit card that's not a very good one. At bettercreditcards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The brand name Spam is a combination of two words. You know what two words? Ham and... Spice. Spice. Uh, oh. We don't have 90 minutes. So, yeah, spice and ham. I'm over here trying to say the word for it. <laughs> Fun fact for you, Heidi. <laughs> What's that, John? Human lips are hundreds of times more sensitive than the tips of a person's fingers. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Fun fact for you, What's Heidi. That, John? Right handed people chew most of their food on the right side of their mouth, where left handed people 
chew most of their food on the left side of their mouth. That makes sense. It kind of does. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? By the end of a person's life, they can recall on average about 150 trillion pieces of information. <laughs> That's a lot of information. Wow. I feel like I'm way behind. I, I can recall. No, you about, are definitely not way behind. You are like can, a walking encyclopedia. I can recall about eight things right now. I can't yeah, think of else. right. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Being called baby has a positive effect on a female brain, causing instant emotional stress relief. Oh, what do you think of that, baby? <laughs> <laughs> fun fact. This sounds creepy. Fun facts for you. Several of them. Now you know. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at GenesisGoldIRA.com. That's GenesisGoldIRA.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile Question of the Day. Yay! Yay! It's brought to you by Mintervention.com. Question, Heidi. Three quarters of us have one of these, but about half of them don't work. What are they? I know we've got some of these that don't work, and then I put them back. Why don't I just... Batteries um, that don't work? Yeah, flashlight. But yeah, that's why. Because oh. I'll pull out a flashlight, and I'm like, oh, that doesn't work. And then I'll get a different one, and I don't take the one that didn't work and put new batteries in it. I'm like, why did I do that? <laughs> the next time I need a flashlight, guess what I do? Same thing. Yeah. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. How much do you pay for your cell phone every month? If it's more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring in your current phone. iPhones and Samsung phones both work well with Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Time now for some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. A Chinese couple visiting South Korea took revenge on Airbnb host who would not let them cancel their booking. Oh. They were trying to cancel and they're like, nope, can't cancel. So they said, okay, we're going to be there. They had a 25-day booking. So it was an expensive trip. Oh. But they used 120 tons of water and thousands of dollars worth of gas and electricity and other utilities as revenge on not letting them get out Yikes. of their... Yeah, at first the owner noticed something, nothing out of the ordinary as the guests, other than them saying, so do you have surveillance cameras? Because we think that's creepy. And they're like, no, we don't have those. And then they just turned all the water on and let it run oh for 25 my days. gosh, that's awful. Gas company reached out to him first saying, hey, there's a huge increase in consumption. Do you guys have like a leak or something? Anyway, they're asking them to cover the massive utility bills. Uh, yeah. They learned that the couple used enough water for eight adults uh, to use for two months, oh plus huge gosh, amounts of electricity. that is horrible. But they did it because they're going, hey, you should have just let us cancel. So that I'm not saying. No, that's no, not okay. I'm not saying it was right, but I, what I'm saying is. Because maybe, there are cancellation policies yeah, in place. So. so they were trying to get there. They thought it was right. I'm not saying it was right. Very weird story. Brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Here are some things you can try if you would like to stop snoring. So people are twice as likely to suffer a stroke, according to this, if they're snoring. So five things you can do. Number one, avoid alcohol. Boozy nights out lead to sleepless, snore-filled slumbers. Alcohol does not help you sleep. It helps you you know, pass out, but it doesn't really help you sleep. Another thing, sleep on your side. Doing so rather than on your back can help prevent your tongue collapsing back, which is causing a lot of the snoring issues. Okay. Number three, try a snoring pillow. What? Snoring Apparently pillow? Apparently there's a special pillow you can get. Number four, stay within a healthy weight range. Uh, if you're overweight like me, you snore more like me. Uh, number five, keep a sleep diary. What? How would you do that? Won't you be sleeping when you should be doing it? <laughs> anyway, they're talking about uh, all of the things that you could do before the night, saying, okay, tonight I did this, and I did this, and I did this. And if you wake up and go, hey, that worked really good, I'm going to do that again. But if you huh. you know, had something to eat that caused you to snore, they're saying, if you know that, that'll help you avoid that. Most of the time, you don't know if you're snoring. I Your don't know. Sp yeah. spouse would have to help you with there you that. Go. The list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com.
InsuranceChicken.com wants to know, how much are you paying for your insurance? I know it seems like a hassle to switch to a different company, but if you can save a few bucks, 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 it's worth crossing the road to InsuranceChicken.com. We have several of the top insurance companies trying to earn your business. They do that by offering great insurance that is cheap, cheap, cheap. Okay, enough of the silly chicken puns. It's time to get serious about saving you money on your insurance at InsuranceChicken.com. That's InsuranceChicken.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Quote today is from Oscar Wilde. Oscar says, work is the curse of the drinking classes. (laughs) (laughs) I think it's kind of funny. All right. Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. It comes your way courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com. I love this story. Uh, again, th- this is, I think, really kind of an amazing story. Good Samaritan helps police find missing father and daughter. So a group of Good Samaritans in Florida helped police rescue a father and daughter who never returned after taking out a jet ski on a lake. Oh, geez. Yeah. Samantha Conover and her fiance and some friends were out uh, having dinner on the water. Afterwards, they brought their pontoon back to the public boat ramp where they saw the uh, deputy, County Reich, County deputy, anyway, uh, police officer, been on a routine patrol looking for two people on a jet ski who never came back. He said he had seen the two earlier. And feared the worst, so they offered the person a ride on the boat. Let's go search the lake. They were looking for Christopher Snow, 31, and his daughter, 13, Alexis Snow. While searching the lake's perimeter, Conover and another person heard somebody screaming, and they realized, hey, that's who we're looking for. Hmm. So the dad and the daughter had been treading water for about an hour and a half after the jet ski sunk in the middle of the lake. How do you sink a jet ski? Right. Deputy's body camera captures the thrilling yet emotional rescue as the two were pulled aboard the boat. And uh, what what an amazing thing. Can you imagine how long they would have been out there? Oh, my gosh. If somebody that's didn't, terrifying. And I don't know how far they were from the shore. And it, maybe it was, I don't know. I don't know how they you know couldn't have swam to the shore. But apparently there was a reason they couldn't get to the shore. But they were out there for an hour and a half. And Jeez. that would not be fun. Uh, I've got a link to the story, and you can see the video and all of that in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show.